Hey, Chicago City Lifers Facebook buddies, those watching on YouTube, we want to welcome you to our evening service. Um, today, I just want to share a quick word with you. I believe that if we're going to have an incredible 2021, there's just certain things that has to be laid down. There has to be a foundation that would be solid so that folks will be able to, to live the life that God wanted them to live. But um, in order to do that, there's some things that we have to do. And that one thing is this. We need to get into the word of God. It's so important. It's a discipline that every believer needs to have. And without this discipline, it's going to be very, very hard to walk this life for Christ. So what I want to do today is just share a brief word with you about what Jesus Christ said how to overcome temptation, how to overcome the enemy. And it's because of this word right here. So if you have your Bibles, let's go to Matthew chapter four, and we're going to be reading the first, the, the few verses um, up to 11, amen? <coughs> Matthew four, chapter one through 11, and it reads, then Jesus was led up by the spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. And after fasting 40 days and 40 nights, he was hungry. And the tempter came and said to him, If you are the Son of God, command these stones to become loaves of bread. But he answered, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. Then the devil took him to the holy city and set him on the pinnacle of the temple and said to him, if you are the son of God, throw yourself down, for it is written, he will command his angels concerning you, and on their hands they will bear you up, let, lest you strike your foot against a stone. Jesus said, again, it is written, you shall not put the word, the Lord your God, to the test. Again, the devil took him to the very high mountains and showed him all the kingdom of the world and their glory, and he said to him, all these I will give you if you will fall down and worship me. Then Jesus said to him, Be gone, Satan, for it is written, You shall worship the Lord your God, and him only shall you serve. Then the devil left him, and behold, angels came and were ministering to him. Father, I pray right now in the name of Jesus Christ that we would take heed to this word, Lord God. Take heed, Lord God, to live in a life that you have called us to live. But, Father, the only way we're going to live this life is by living according to your word. So I thank you. I praise you for what you're going to do. In Jesus' name, amen. So in this scripture verse right here, we see that Jesus was tempted. And in life, we're all going to be tempted by different things. But one thing that Jesus did not lean on, he did not lean on his own intellect. He did not lean on his emotions. He leaned on the written word of God and the devil. He's going to come and he's going to tempt us. And I'm just here to tell you one thing that we need to know is what this word tells us, because the reality is that our emotions could go up and down, up and down. One day we're feeling spiritually high and the next day we fall low. But what's written in the word of God is constant. A matter of fact, the Bible says the only thing that's going to remain is this word is this word it is written jesus overcame the enemy because of this word so i want to challenge you today i want to challenge you to get into this word begin to know this word for yourself i thank god for pastors who know how to preach the word with um with power with boldness um articulate i, I thank god for those type of pastors those pastors who are real creative but the reality is this that god has called us all to get into this word for ourselves he didn't call us to repeat what a pastor is saying or repeat what our mom or dad or grandmas have been saying forever god want us to know this word for ourselves because it is written and this is the way that we overcome the enemy is by the written word of god if you want to be a strong believer the only way that you're going to be able to overcome this enemy is by knowing the written word of God. I believe it. And you know what? It's not just good enough just to read it, but it's also time to practice it, to apply the word 
of God. And I'm telling you, what this word said it says to do, it will do it in your life once you apply it. But we have to know the written word of God. Jesus said it three times to the enemy. As it was written, as it is written, as it is written, as it is written. I believe when God overemphasized something, I believe he's trying to tell us something. And I just want to emphasize this to you today. You have to believe in the word of God. You have to read the word of God for yourself. If 2020 showed me anything, we cannot depend on the things of this world. The only thing that's going to matter is this word of God. So I challenge you today, get in to the written word of God and see what God is saying to you. Amen. And hold on to it. Hold on to it by faith. Believe it by faith, just like those who came before us. God commended them because they held on to his word by faith. So I stand here today and I ask you, trust the word of God, believe in the word of God, and it will do what it said it's going to do. God bless you, and I hope you take heed to this word. Here's Pastor K with the announcement of this week. God bless you, and I hope to see you on Sunday. Bye-bye. Here are an, our announcements for this week. Every single Sunday, we have Sunday school at 1030 before we have our actual service at 1130. So come on out to be a part of that. This is where you get to ask questions and just learn more about the word. And then on Tuesdays, we have men's Bible study first at 5 o'clock. And then the ladies have Bible study at 530. And then at 7 o'clock, also on Tuesday, we have the youth meeting um, here in the building and then virtually on YouTube we have the Pastor Moody sharing an encouraging word and then on Wednesday every Wednesday we have prayer on zoom at 7 o'clock make sure you come on out to pray uh, where two or more gathered God says he's there in their midst so come on out and bring the presence of God with you and then Friday we have street team at 6 o'clock and I just want to encourage you to come on out. You can meet us here at 6 o'clock. We're going out there. Not only are we feeding people physical food, but we're also feeding them spiritual food as well. And then just a quick reminder, this Sunday we did our faith promises. Um, just saying, by faith, this is what I can give towards missions for the year of 2021. If you didn't get your faith promise cards, make sure you either uh, call the church or come by on Sunday and we will get a faith promise card to you so that you can by faith say what you're going to give towards missions for 2021. Thank you.